I felt like a child being shown something for the first time. I had no idea that, that it could be so beautiful. I was lucky enough to do the dream trip on a liveaboard boat with about 20 other divers. I really was a novice at that point. I had very much a, a classic tourist experience of seeing the Barrier Reef. It, it really was the start of something quite big for me. I took a day trip out on a, a tourist boat which had maybe 30 or 40 people on board. I leapt off the back of the boat into water that was a kind of surreal pale turquoise and as soon as my bubbles had cleared I looked out into the blue and was surrounded by thousands of fish. I think I actually almost choked um, on my snorkel because I, I opened my mouth to say wow to the person I was with. I'd gone from zero to seeing the most colourful explosion of life you could ever imagine underwater. And then I looked down directly beneath me and there was a five foot long potato cod and this one was as friendly as a dog. It literally came up and nuzzled me and approached me. And that was it from that moment on I was completely and utterly smitten. You expect a certain amount of wonder and glamour under there but it's like Mars. I did have a real feeling of awe at this other world. Huge fish, brilliantly coloured, smaller fish as well, corals, sponges, I mean it was just mind-boggling. It was dizzying when you, you, know, you see so many animals and it's, it's a sort of sensory overload and I literally didn't know which way to look next. And also the most peculiar thing is it's, it's sort of shallow as well. At times your feet are dangling over the reef um, by mere centimetres and yet you have the opportunity to see this sort of vast, paradise-like world. And I honestly think that that moment sort of spoilt me for any reef snorkeling or diving I could ever do in the future. One of the things I would do is go aboard a dive boat or a liverboard. Uh, you'll be with like-minded people who are really interested in the sort of things that you're looking for, uh, rather than the mass of tourism that you could be doing if you just do a day trip out of there. It's a good idea to time your trip for June and July, if you can, because then you have uh, Minky Wales, which is one of the great spectacles of the ribbon reefs which I travel to. Perhaps if you get a chance beforehand, just practice with a snorkel and mask, just so that you don't have that extra hurdle when you're actually on the, on the reef. In terms of cost, the sky's the limit really in terms of going to the Great Barrier Reef. You can do it as a backpacker. You can also arrange uh, to stay at a luxury resort. Hamilton Island is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been and is what the sort of gateway to the Whitsunday Islands. It's fantastic for, um, for jumping off to the reef and there are plenty of options in terms of resort and uh, normal tourism offerings there as well.